Hey guys, it's Alternative Force here, back again with another video today, and I will be showing you how to make Nox even faster. <clears throat> Especially for your Dokkan battle needs. <laughs> so, you can probably see how smooth my, my Dokkan battle is going right now. Pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Yeah, uh-huh. Pretty smooth, right? So, I will show you how to get it this smooth with a few easy steps. Okay, guys, so first things first, you got your settings here, okay? So, mine is um, Nox version 3.8.3.1. And so the recent version is like point zero, five point zero point zero point one or something like that. And so, yeah, it still works for even these older versions. So make sure you have <coughs> uh, your language to whatever set you want. Uh, and you can have a root startup. It really works for like people that want like. Hmm. The people that want to. <clears throat> so, the root startup is really good for um, many purposes, even the re rolling system for Dokkan Battle. And if we go to advanced, oh, these are my settings. I have high. Uh, I put it on mobile phone so that I could play it like this. So, as you're seeing right here, it's shaped like a phone. It's pretty good that way. Uh, use whatever settings you need for these. It will make sure to check your like your window setting to like how big your screen is because this is the best size possible for me. And you can go to any of these sizes, but I'd rather do these. Frame settings. Uh, sixty percent is recommended. Sixty FPS is recommended for. Gameplays and I use Open uh, GL compatible, compactable, and <clears throat> I don't know what I I told this for, but it seems to be better than Speed Direct X. So that's pretty much what I chose. So the phone model, you can choose whatever you want, but I I of course chose an Android. I chose chose Hawaii, Hawaii. I don't know. I think it's Hawaii. And you can put whatever you want in here. There's your shortcuts, interface, whatever you need there. And that's basically it. So, you also have many other things that you need to, of course, do make this faster. So, press control, shift. Well, actually, never mind, hold up. What you need first is also to have, you need to also have the, <clears throat> this thing, it's called, what's it called? Hey, hold up, I'll be back guys. Yeah, so you also need to enable virtualization to really help with Knox as well. Because you really need virtualization to really get those app working, those apps working. So make sure to enable virtualization. I will link a video down below so that you can know how to um, enable virtualization. So make sure to check that one out. So yeah, guys. Um, basically, put this down a bit. So guys, basically, just hit circle shift escape and then your uh, manager will show up which is really helpful in the situation you'll see why soon should pop up oh, guys I do it again control shift escape Escape should be written as E S C on your keyboard. Now it should pop up soon. 
manager. It is dispatch manager. <clears throat> and I have many things open right now and it's still running this fast. So if you see this late task manager pop up, click more details and it'll show. But right now it's kind of like I'll cut right here. Okay guys, so I'm back and so the task manager, sometimes it'll show up as this. And so you want to click more details for, well, more details. And so these are all your apps, all your background processes. And so you go to details. Now I'm going to censor this right here. Okay. So quick, I'm going to censor this. Okay, and then you want to scroll down to not exe now click on it right click set priority to instead of normal to high okay you click high and it'll say uh do you want to change something like that see it shows change proximity and you can cancel cancel or you can change proximity hold up change priority and i do this to all of the knocks Anything with knocks in it, just change the high. And so then it'll run real smoothly. Now, I'll show you when it's at normal. Now, I'm going to set these, these two to normal, okay? And let's see what happens. Not nearly as fast as before. Now that's the loading process. Now if we set them back to high again, it'll take a bit to process this. Now that's how you make Nox faster. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, sub, and comment down on the video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.